Before we can set up uh, Exchange for Simbra in Outlook, we need to do one preparation in Outlook itself. Uh, Outlook is a Microsoft product and this specific feature is something that Microsoft is using for their own Exchange solution. That means that in the newer versions of uh, Microsoft Outlook, they have tried to facilitate their setup by making it complicated for everybody else. So there is a little thing we need to do to fix that before we get started. Uh, that's the reason why we have to disable what's called simple account creation in Outlook. And there are two methods to do this. The first one is to do some changes to the Windows register. Uh, it's called Reg Edit. Uh, that's the program you use. Uh, I will say that this is mostly for advanced users. Uh, every time you go into Reg Edit, uh, you should be careful. And um, yeah, that's something we should always say. Then the second method is that you can download and import a register fix file. And that's something that I have prepared for our customers to facilitate this step. So before I will show you how to do it, I will also illustrate you why. When you in Microsoft want to, in Outlook, want to set up a new account, you click on the add account. It will start this kind of wizard that just asks you to insert the email account. This is a simplified account setup system and that will jump over an important step where we are able to write in our server settings. So we need to disable this in Outlook. Disabling it does not affect any other features within your Outlook. To uh, disable it, I have made a link available. If you go to the uh, products on caroni.com, you go to Simbra Mail, then if you scroll all the way down, you have a little box down here I have prepared that shows you the two different models. Uh, there's a link to Microsoft knowledge page, knowledge page, page, how to do this manually. And it's actually not that complicated. Uh, it's just a couple of steps here that you have to take and uh, do some changes. But I've also made those changes available in a little file that you can download. And uh, we always, uh, we should always say that uh, we take no responsibility of how you use this file. But uh, if you do it correctly, if you have a uh, Microsoft Outlook 2016-19 or 365 and you are a customer with Caroni, there should not be any problem using this. For this illustration, this is the one we will be using. So I click on this file to download it. It's a zip file that will download to your desktop, uh, to, your, to your download folder. When it comes down, it will look like this. The icon might be a little bit different if you have a different zip program. You right click on it and you will click extract files. If you're using standard Windows zip, it will just say extract all. So it's either or. So I will click on this and I will just say OK. When, I'm, when I've done this, another folder will appear that has been unzipped and I can open it. And here I have the register key that I can install. The way to install it is just to double click on it. It will ask you for permission. I'd ask if you're sure that you want to uh, import this fix into register. and it says that it has been successfully added to the register. Okay, so now I can close this and I can go back to my Outlook. I do need to restart Outlook, so I will close it. I have now restarted my Outlook and it looks just like before, 
all my accounts and I'm now ready and to install my exchange account. If I now click on file, add new account, you will see that this looks different than last time because now we get this option to do a manually setup of uh, the additional server types. So now we are ready to install Exchange in Outlook and we will go through this in the next video.